there's so much potential here, Nathan. It's like, how, how, how can you work on other stuff and not just work on this part? Because like, there could be discovery. You could like schedule hacks, you know, like I could, people could hang out. This could replace like the dev side of Twitch streaming and stuff. Like there's a lot of opportunity here. I and know. Like, um, I'm seeing a nugget of pr potential and then, like you need to polish. Here that you are thing. trying to go to Lytx. I mean, which is cool. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I would, that's what I was going to say, Jerry. Like, I, I see the opportunity and the potential here, and I would just be so laser focused on proving this out hmm. rather than that's trying really to good skip to another platform. Not, but then at the same time, that platform, Linux, may bring the kind of collaborators and users you need to do this further. But I would, this is the secret of all the secret sauces in your sauce. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, the challenge is just like, for people to want to collaborate in Zed, they've got to want to be use using Zed. It. And it's, I knew at the beginning that nobody was ever going to use Zed for this feature. They were going to use Zed because it was a good code editor, the best code editor that they could get for their use case. And so that's just the balance. Like we've been investing in this technology, this side of it. Uh, quite a bit. I mean, it's definitely, um, we have been open source earlier if we weren't collaborative like this. Like it's been an ongoing cost, but it's just something that we've been in, in the habit of balancing with the, the, yeah. Cause like, yeah, Jared, you said you've been using Zed daily and you, yeah. you didn't really know about this feature. And I think that's the direction it would have, is going to have to go is like, Oh, I discovered this because I'm using Zed because it's an awesome editor. Not, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to go reach. That's my theory. I could be wrong about that too. I think you um, may be wrong. Okay. Personally, okay. Uh, I think it's the feature. It's a, well, it may not be there yet. I think it has the potential to be there to be the attractor. Yeah. So I think it is both not and or, meaning that I don't think people come to Zed because it's amazing and then discover you can do this. I think it's, well, I can do this, and it's an amazing editor I should already be using. So I get with the collaboration where you need to have different platforms, and Beyond Mac is necessary to have full team mm -hmm. collaboration, because teams aren't just, you know, Mac-only users, so I get that. Yeah. And so I understand why that's even the draw to Linux. But to me, if you can pull this off as good as you have pulled, I mean, you're already using it internally. Like, Torsten and Conrad are already collaborating. Like, we just essentially... Zed bomb them, I guess, right? Zed, Zed channel bomb, bomb them, them essentially. Because, right. like, I went into their Vim channel just because I was clicking around while you were talking. I'm like, how does this work? And I started hearing somebody just like doing their day in my left ear. Like, they weren't even collaborating yet. They were probably going to work and going to work together. <laughs> and that's where they go to work at. So I think right. there's some real potential there. And I think that it's big enough that it should be a headliner.